Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you trying to buy a car from Copart. We actually bought one today, uh, it's a Dodge Charger. So anybody of you guys having a Dodge 3.6 Charger Durango Chrysler and you want to see videos, they will be coming guys. We'll be taking the whole engine apart, transmission and anything like that. We picked it up from Copart yesterday, uh, it was really cold and late, we barely caught them. Uh, so we want to show you, okay, what we experienced how uh, probably this is the 100 car that we buy from Copart we bought quite a few uh, when we actually bid online that damage was not here now I don't know why but three times lately guys from Copart every time I buy a car it ends up having a damage that wasn't there I didn't even mess with it this time obviously they have quite a bit of cars there they're really busy and uh, probably they get them really close to each other and with the forklift when they load them they hit it with another car we bought that Mustang from Copart not too long ago and the hood was in perfect condition in the pictures and then it was all bent here that's why we put the decals we haven't had time to fix it uh, now the charger guys otherwise it was a great deal we're buying it for the videos here uh, it is rebuildable but it has quite a bit of damage I mean <laughs> more than you can imagine check this thing out the bumper was hanging all the way the, on the rear but we managed to put it together just quickly so we can put it on the trailer it was smashed on the driver's side the door was all the way inside practically we had to push it out with a crowbar so we can uh, get it to open from the front and come all the way to here uh, suspension wise absolutely zero damage it practically stopped at the fender smashed the window here uh, now that's a sunshade that you don't want to see probably uh, you can see inside a little bit of snow we're going to attempt to start it now and see if it's going to start guys okay and see what the problem is okay what's happening here uh, now battery is completely dead one thing the trunk doesn't even close so we're going to go ahead okay here we're going to open okay right here you can see we have the oh, weather tech format protector here is the battery where it's located it used to have uh, a subwoofer or something like that because i see a 12 volt wire that could be could short things out we need to be careful because obviously somebody took their uh, subwoofer box we'll be using the schumacher right here jump started 2500 times this is amazing we'll click the engine to start it now i'm going to get a key guys okay let me see make sure it doesn't fall i'll get a key let me pass the camera i'll come from the passenger side driver side is almost impossible to get into right now i mean it's smashed smashed there so i'll come here go all the way down let's see if it's going to start now Wow, that thing fired, I'm surprised. It has glass everywhere, we need to clean the glass. You can see inside. Okay, what do we have here now? How many miles? It's, it was unknown mileage. 41,000 miles. Unknown mileage before, guys, okay. Screen works, obviously. That works, apps. What do we have here? Apps, performance control okay you have all kind of different things i like that thing okay uh, you can go to climate media navigation uh, what else we have projectors wi-fi hotspot wow that's that's crazy uh, vehicle user guide activate services performance pages so <laughs> everything works and only the airbag light is on check it out still working but the damage was so big that it damaged the dash on this side so there is a little bit of damage here uh, it's loading the performance pages now practically it's kind of like a tablet even the temperature sensors everything work i'm surprised to be honest honest with you uh, let's see power and everything g-force engine you have dyno here and everything guys good oil pressure 86 psi that's the dyno uh, now definitely I think it's a pretty good buy to be to be honest with you now right here uh, what else we have let's check now navigation navigation should work right okay oh traveling traveling weather map 
Does it work? Yep, it works. Perfect. <laughs> That's nuts. That's great. So uh, let's go ahead and we open the hood. Okay. Let's see what we have there inside. It's not bad, especially only for the driver's side. It's a little bit bad. 3.6 brand new engine, probably 1,000 miles. Uh, thousands of videos coming, guys, on that car. I'm not joking. We'll be making videos for everything on that engine, and eight speed transmission will be taken practically completely apart. But yeah, not a bad deal. A really good price we got on it. So it runs and drives. The only thing, it had really that battery. And a little bit more damage than we thought because especially the fender we were planning on selling on the front right side maybe part it out if we do if we go to fix it we'll see but you can see the damage is extensive okay right here uh, if you need to see anything on dodge chrysler 3.6 or dodge challenger let us know we'll be making videos for everything thank you for watching and see you next time